State Parliament resumes for the year tomorrow with some new faces in the ministry and on the crossbench. MPs will grapple with contentious issues like domestic violence and abortion in the coming months as all sides prepare for an election. Melinda Howes reports. Ten weeks is a long time in politics. Hello, it's great to be back. MPs are returning to Parliament for the first time since December. Over the break, Steve Dixon quit the LNP to join One Nation. And Sterling Hinchliffe quit as Transport Minister, with Jackie Trad now back in charge of the portfolio. Friday, yeah. A private member's bill to decriminalise abortion isn't expected to be debated this week, but lobbying from all sides is ramping up. The Catholic Archbishop of Brisbane and the Deputy Premier have publicly disagreed on the matter after he drew comparisons with Nazi Germany. The real point is that the legislation proposed in Queensland can open the door to the kind of eugenics we've seen before and are seeing in other parts of the world now. Well, I would have thought that the Archbishop had more uh, important things to focus on, uh, like the inquiry into institutional abuse and the findings that are coming out of that inquiry. The Premier is trying to make peace. Uh, I had a personal phone conversation with the Archbishop Yesterday we're going to catch up and have a cup of tea in the next couple of weeks. With an election due in 12 months but likely to be held sooner, the first sitting marks the official start of a busy political year. Issues like domestic violence, child safety and jobs will be on the agenda. There's little sign of New Year goodwill. Queensland's first Indigenous Cabinet Minister says she can't go to the launch of the Closing the Gap report in Canberra tomorrow because the opposition won't grant her a pair so she can miss votes in the hung parliament. There is nothing um, that Tim Nichols will not play politics with. You know, even on this matter, we're seeing politics being played uh, by the LNP. The LNP says all its MPs want to be present in the chamber for its new legislation on domestic violence. Melinda Howells, ABC News.